What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel to my members. Welcome back to my new members. Welcome to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet already, make sure to hit that subscribe like and notification box. We're almost approaching 4,000 subscribers. Also too, so we get the video and the channel trending as we are trying and trying to grow each more every single day as we put Star Wars content out. Don't forget to have a membership and a merch store down below that you want to go check out so you get behind the scenes and go live with me on a private live stream. Without further ado, let's start today's show. So, we know that the modern day Star Wars canon has had many major continuity issues since it began in 2014 and Grand Admiral Thrawn's return may create another one just yet. Now in the modern Star Wars canon, the Galactic Civil War ended we know roughly a year after Return of the Jedi, after a dramatic final stand against the New Republic on Jakku ended in a decisive Imperial defeat. The two factions signed the Galactic Coordinates officially ending the war and leaving the minuscule official remainder of the Galactic Empire largely demilitarized and regulated to portions of the Inner Rim. For roughly 30 years between the original and sequel trilogies, the galaxy was defined by relative peace. What ultimately broke this peace was the gradual emergence of the First Order a military junta of surviving Imperials and their descendants who were supported by extremist politicians within the New Republic running interference. Now, the First Order blatantly violated the galactic coordinates, but the New Republic was unwilling to take the unnecessary measures against it, leading Leia Organa to form the Resistance, a pro-democracy pre-military organization to keep the First Order in check. Now, this led a cold war between the two factions that broke out into a full-scale war when the First Order destroyed the Hosnian system. Now, Thrawn was reintroduced in Star Wars Rebels franchise and Dave Filoni's Rebels, reimagining him for the modern day canon. Now, Thrawn's live action debut in Ahsoka was another thing that Dave Filoni brought now to life. While undoubtedly a successful storyteller, Dave Filoni's story properties are frequent sources of continuity errors as well, with Filoni himself echoing a sentiment comparable to George Lucas's dismissive attitude towards consistent continuity. Now, Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, Star Wars is the Bad Batch, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi and Filoni's episode of The Book of Boba Fett have all overwritten established Star Wars canon materials. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return in Ahsoka threatens to break the established Star Wars canon timeline only further. Both The Mandalorian Season 3 and Ahsoka tease that Thrawn's re-emergence will bring about the rebirth of the Empire and a new conflict with the New Republic. While Thrawn's campaign in Legends continuity worked because the Galactic Civil War continued for 15 years after Return of the Jedi, a comparable crisis in the modern canon timeline would be a major continuity contradiction. A new Thrawn campaign could compare the two with the wars with the First Order and contradicting the 30 years of peace. Naturally given Grand Admiral Thrawn's iconic status and established threat level, the temptation to make him a comparable threat to the proper galactic empire and First Order's forces may be irresistible. The problem is that the more profound Thrawn's effect on the galaxy is, the worse he contradicts the established Star Wars canon continuity. Timothy Zahn's Thrawn trilogy of novels breathed the new life into Star Wars' franchise. So to have loose adaptation of it in the modern canon may be what recent Star Wars TV shows and the upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie are building up to. For Star Wars canon to avoid further continuity problems, Thrawn would not have to be able to continue to become the sort of galaxy-threatening menace that he has been built to be in the recent Star Wars shows or movies. Thrawn's attempt to rebuild the Empire would need to fail before it becomes a full-scale conflict with the New Republic or, at the very least, be partially or entirely unnoticed by the New Republic and its citizens. All these scenarios put heavy limitations on Thrawn's future in the upcoming Star Wars shows or movies. 
but such constraints would necessitate more creativity and care for maintaining a coherent continuity. But this has been the problem with Star Wars overall is that they have broken a lot of the Star Wars lore and a lot of the canon that has been established so if they can figure out a way thrones continuity and canonism now in the star wars mainstream with the mandalorian stays the same and doesn't go anywhere near the first order so it doesn't mess up what is already known then they have something but they might have to be very very careful with how they go about Thrawn going forward before the First Order. For more Star Wars content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell as we're almost at 4,000 subscribers. Make sure to comment down below where I'll catch you guys later today in the comment section.